time how the rhinoceros got his skin. This book belongs to how the rhinoceros got his skin. Once upon a time on a journey is land on the shores of the Red Sea there lived a man he on out nothing in the world but his hair and his knife and a cooking stove of love the king kind that you must really never touch the man wa was very happy he had nothing to worry him one rhinoceros who lived in where the very middle of the inside Iceland he had a horn on his nose and two piggy eyes in whose day the rhinoceros skin fitted him good good tight they are we, we are now blink, blinks in it and anywhere he had no manners then and he has no manners no and he never will have any manners one day the man took flour and water and cut cut and current and plums and sugar and other delicious del delicious things and made himself one big cake it was two feet across and three feet thick he put in on the stove he back and he backed baked in it till it was all beautifully brown it smelled yummy The rhinoceros smell mm, the delicious smell just as the man was doing to eat his cake along it came into six of a tail the man climbed to the top of a tall palm tree and hill the rhinoceros used ups upset the stove with 
his nose and the cake rolled into the sand. Then he that cake on horn of a uh, no his nose and he ate it every last clump crumb all of the a few weeks later the There was a heat wave in the Red Sea. It was so hot, hot, hot that everybody took off their clothes. The, the man even took of his head in those days the rhinoceros skin rotted under nut with three buntings the rhinoceros took off his skin to have a cooking swim in the sea The rhinoceros did not say sorry to the man for eating his cake. He said no mess then and he has no manners now. He rewarded straight into the water and blew bubbles through his nose leaving his skin on the beach but the men found the skin and smile a big smile then he danced three times times round the skin and and rubbed his hands the man wiped his hat with crumbs he held twenty he never eat anything but cake and he ne never swept out his lamp then uh, he took that skin and he shook that skin and he scrubbed that skin and he rubbed that skin at last it was a spoon of rice tickly cake crumbs and some burned 